Hello everyone, welcome to VRSI Academy. This is lecture 34 and today we will understand about applying OCV in design that is OCV concepts. Also we will understand about later on clock reconversion specimenism removal concept which is commonly known as CRPR in short. This is very important and fundamental topic to be covered in this series. Alright, let us get started. We shall see that how can we take into account the OCV effects which can degrade the timing and design might get affected if this is not taken into account. To account for OCV, we have something called as D-rates. Timing D-rates are extra pessimism that we apply to account for OCV effects. And these numbers are the ratios to D-rate the delay numbers that can increase or decrease the timing in your report. For example, if we apply plus 10% D-rate in data path, it means whatever the actual data path value is, it will add 10% extra delay to each cell and net. And entire data path delay will degrade by 10%. If it is 150 PS, that means extra 15 PS will get added in the total of data path and it becomes 165 PS. Similarly, if we apply negative D-rate, it will reduce the delay and it will make it faster. Now here is our design and if we see in terms of waveform then for setup timing path we have max limit in the data path or maximum arrival time at the capture flop before which the data should be stable that we have already explained in the previous videos you can go and check the playlist also and link is the given in the description also. Now the worst condition for setup check occurs when the launch clock path and the data path have the OCV conditions which result in the largest delays while the capture clock path have the OCV condition which result in the smallest delays. That is we are trying to stress the design for applying the OCV conditions. Hence we apply D rates to add extra pessimism which will further delay the longer path that is max path or data path in the launch side and we will make the capture clock path faster and by doing so we are actually reducing the max path slack margin so that if at all OCV phenomena occurs in the chip we would have already accounted the timing for it beforehand. Now here is the condition which is used for setup timing check without any OCV. This we have discussed in previous videos also and where we discussed that how do we calculate setup time slack that is launch clock path plus max data path that is this path this timing arc and this timing arc should be lesser than your timing clock period the design clock period plus capture clock path clock, capture clock path is this path and minus t setup of this flip flop. So this we have already discussed. From here, we can also calculate your minimum clock period which is needed. So that means that minimum clock period for setup to be positive, setup slack to be positive should be at least launch clock plus max data path and you can take this on the other side. So it becomes minus capture clock path plus T setup UFF1. Now let us assume that in our design we have these values in the timing path. Now if we see launch clock path is this path and then value of total of this is launch flop is 1.2 plus 0.8. So total becomes 2.0. So here it is mentioned launch clock path has the value of 1.2 plus 0.8 that is 2.0 then max data path max data path is clock to q delay of uff1 plus combo delay of this path so that is total mentioned as 5.2 nanoseconds and then comes the capture clock path which is sum of this all the buffers in this clock capture clock path which is 1.2 plus 0.86 that is 2.06 nanoseconds and then the setup time here which is 0.35 of this flip flop that is uff2 now with these values if we want to calculate the minimum clock period that is needed for the slack to be positive that would be calculated like this. So here 2.0 plus 5.2 that is your this path plus this. So this is your entire arrival time should be greater than the require should be lesser than the required time. So if the difference is positive then that is the clock period minimum clock period that is needed because of this equation which we have mentioned here. So launch clock path plus max data path plus minus capture clock path plus T setup. So that is calculated here and it comes to 5.49 nanoseconds. So minimum this much of clock period we should have in this case. 
so far whatever the calculation that we have done is without any ocv effects in the picture so we calculated the minimum clock period which comes out to be 5.49 nanoseconds in this and now let us say we want to apply the timing derate so that command for that is set timing derate and then hyphen early and hyphen late are the switches and then the values so it will derate this particular command it will derate the minimum path or shortest path or early path as mentioned here will derate these path by minus 20% so that is why it is 0.8 which is ideally should be 1 so it is now derated by 20% and it will apply such derate in minimum path or shortest path or you can say early path and it will also derate this particular command where hyphen late is used it will derate maximum path or you can say this kind of path or you can say latest path so this longest path will be derated by plus 10 percent so one becomes 1.1 so this is the derate which will be getting applied here now long path delays for example data path launch clock path or set these kind of paths or you can say capture clock paths for hold checks these are the long paths it will get multiplied by this kind of derate values and short path delays which is actually early path such as capture clock path for setup or you can say that launch clock path for hold this will get multiplied by derate values specified using hyphen early so if you do not specify any derating factor then by default 1.0 is assumed as a derate value which means there is no derate actually now let us say that we have applied these derate values that is 0.8 in early path and 1.1 in late path now let's see how these values will change so it will be like this here you can see that now launch clock path is multiplied by 1.1 why because it is derated by 10 percent so it will become 2.2 so this path has a derate of 10 percent and then we have max data path that also will be derated by 10 percent so that becomes 5.72 instead of 5.2 capture clock path will be derated by early factor why because we want to squeeze it further so that will be multiplied by 0.8 so it becomes 1.648 and then this is also we want to increase the setup time so so that your design gets stressed further so that it will become 0.385 from 0.385 so that is again 10 percent derate which makes your minimum clock period by this same calculation again it becomes 6.657 you can clearly see that it has increased from 5.49 to 6.6 that is the effect of ocv that we should take into account before doing any calculation some of you might be wondering why crpr is written here when it is not used here so this topic we will cover in the next video because there is some issue that might come because of over pessimism that we are doing here and that we will see in the next video that's all for this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and please do give your feedback in the comment section thank you